Estelle Frisco's, uh, known for their steak and everything else. Their restaurant group behind a big old deal right now. Uh, the guy who runs this company is the CEO right here, and I'm disappointed to say he's very thin and fit. Uh, but anyway, he's here to talk to us. Norman Abdella is about uh, this $325 million deal to acquire Barteca Restaurant Group. That, was, that one surprised me. Why that? What are you looking for there? There's a few things that we look at when we do acquisitions. Number one, it has to fit our vision, which is celebrating life in restaurants. So, so that means all the guests that come in are there for a celebration of something like the Double Eagle, a business closing, an anniversary, a birthday. And it also means that we take care of our uh, team members because they celebrate in our restaurants as well. It has to have the same cash on cash returns that the Double Eagle does. The Double Eagle does about 55% cash on cash returns. What does that mean? That we invest cash okay. and we make 50% of it back. Uh, every year, so that's how, which is pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Yeah, and then uh, Barcelona does about 57 percent, and Bar Taco does about 87 percent. So it has to be equal to a Del Frisco, so we can invest our capital the right way for our shareholders. Will they compete? They're obviously at different price points with your existing restaurants. No, you know, not at all, because Del Frisco's is all about the prime, the best steakhouse in America. The restaurant next door won the Grand Award this year. Only 89 in the world have won the Grand Award. So the wine program has to be big. And then if you look at Barcelona and uh, the team there and what they built, they have 400 Spanish bottle of wines on their menu, which is the most Spanish wines on any menu in the United States. And that team goes to Barcelona. They've already been there 20, 25 times to look at wines, they bring general managers, that they bring chefs to make sure they keep But open. what is the average price for the two? I mean, um, yeah, uh, Barcelona is about 32 to 35 dollars. Bar Taco is about 22 to 25 dollars. Which is the price of one of your onion rings. Yes. <laughs> yes How many Del Frisco's are there? Uh, there's 13, but we're building four right now. Uh, the Prudential Center in Boston, Atlanta, and we're making our entry into the West Coast. We're under construction in San Diego. We're under construction in LA, Century City. And then we just announced a lease that we have in Santa Clara. So going in and make sure that we establish a market with our name is very, very important. Well, certainly your name is well known, and certainly in this city, but as we were discussing briefly during the break, man, oh man, oh, there are a lot of steakhouses, and they seem to be popping up everywhere. And so I keep hearing all these warnings about cool it on red meat and all this other stuff and either people are ignoring them or or just being you know careful about it what, what's going on yeah i mean everybody loves a great steak and you know there there are warnings on red meat but as people come out they do the completely opposite of that we added a simply prepared fish program to Del Frisco's, so if they I wanted think that's to, a sin to go to your restaurant and order fish. <laughs> I, had, I had my wife does it, but yeah. I, <laughs> I had or king salmon today for lunch. So did you really? Yeah. All right. Um, now the double eagle. How many individuals order that just for themselves? The the double eagle. It depends on how big they are. Yeah. It could be. I like mine yeah. to look like the Flintstones thing. It's flopped yeah. over the car and all. <laughs> About I have to be careful because my cardiologist is probably watching. <laughs> but what, what, a lot of people take advantage of that, right? Yeah, the double eagle is 32 ounces, uh, bone-in uh, ribeye, and sometimes about 50% of the people can eat it on their own, probably like you. And sometimes it takes two to three. That's amazing, you would know that. Yes. Um, <laughs> The environment for this, do you think the tax cuts and more income, people feeling more secure? I mean, it's all esoteric stuff, I grant you. But do you think that plays a factor? Because, you know, eating at one of your restaurants, certainly one of the steak restaurants, that, that, that's not an impulse decision. I right. mean, companies pay for that a lot of times for people right. to go there. But it's a, it's a big bill. It's a, it's a moment. It's an event. But, right. but it's not cheap. Uh, yet more and more than ever are doing it. Yeah. We're not feeling any pressure at all in Del Frisco's and other is Barteca. We look at our industry in same store sales. Barteca runs around a two to seven percent same store sales year over year over is year. Is that right? Yeah, because it's a, it's experiential. Functional brands, when you have oil going up and all the pressures out there on the macro environment, they get hurt the worst. The experiential brands don't because people at that time, they want to go out and celebrate. At the Double Eagle, we don't feel that impact as well. And our double legal, that's 60% of our total sales is businesses. 
because again, if you're kind of caught up, then the businesses come out and spend as well. Oh, they have, and uh, best of luck with this with this purchase, and we'll be marrying some interesting cultures here. Yes, right. Yes, the cultures of our teams are the same. The way we look at food from scratch. I mean, those are like the biggest things. And then people. I mean, we do everything around people, which is our guests, our team members, and our shareholders, and we have to provide value to them as well. All right. We'll watch it closely, Norman. Very good seeing you. Thank you. Good seeing you as well.